my channel, uh, the Hernandez Sosa Family Channel. Um, I created this channel so my family and I could discover ourselves through YouTube. Um, I'll be making a couple of videos. I love ASMR videos, so you might be seeing a couple of those videos soon. Um, and then I have a couple ideas for my daughter to be included in this channel, uh, my kids, and then possibly my husband. He's thinking about a couple of ideas. Um, so if you have any ideas for this channel, definitely um, leave a comment below and telling us what you want to see as a part of our content on our channel. So I've been wanting to make this video for a really long time. I just wanted to make sure that I have all of the school supplies. So um, if you can see the title, um, this is a school supply haul. Getting ready for back to school. My daughter is going to first grade. Um, she's six years old. And these are all the supplies, um, a part of the list, and then a couple of extras that I wanted to include for her. I bought all of this stuff with my own money. Nobody's paying me. Trust me, I'm not that important yet. Um, to make this video um, so if you're interested um, in asking where I bought these items you can always leave a comment below and then I'll try to leave a couple of links for you um, so firstly when everybody uh, thinks about back to school items we think about um, our theme or what we want our stuff to be my daughter this year decided that she wanted her stuff to be lol surprise dolls and if you don't know what those are they're like little surprise um, dolls that come in like these little balls that you open up layer by layer and then they come with shoes and accessories and clothing and um, things like that and they come all and they're super expensive um, but my daughter loves those. She started watching these um, LOL openings on YouTube and that was the big craze and that's what she likes and so that's what I get her. Um, so firstly, I found her backpack at Walmart, um, thankfully. Um, and um, everybody at her school um, uses a rolling backpack. She's going to first grade, but she has seven notebooks this year. Seven notebooks. Um, and then she'll have to constantly have those in her backpack. So I didn't want her getting her um, a traditional backpack since that would be extremely heavy and I don't want to stunt her growth or anything like that. Um, so we're getting our a rolling backpack. Everybody at her school already uses one. Um, so she's just one of the pack. Um, and this is her backpack. I don't know. It has a clear front pocket has a main pocket. It's plastic here, but then canvas on the side. Um, it has two water bottle pockets or mesh pockets on the side. Um, she has backpack straps, so when I pick her up, I can actually grab the backpack and put it on my back. And then it has the rolling extension on for her. It also has a hook here, so she can hang it up um, if she wants to. I also included a couple of keychains just to personalize her backpack. Nothing fancy, but um, this one she got from a friend. Uh, it's a pink puffball with cat glitter ears. I thought that was cute. And then this one I found in Justice. It's her holographic initial for her name. And then it has a couple of pom poms, different colors on the side. And then this one also came with a pink neon tassel. And then just to identify yourself. And then in the front also is a Bath and Body Works keychain, and it actually lights up. It has a little button on the bottom, and it lights up. And then she's using, well, she will be using a thousand wishes firstly. And I got a couple of bottles of these. This was on sale for like five or six dollars, so I always like for her to have some type of hand sanitizer accessible with a lunchbox. She is provided lunch and breakfast in her school, but they do have two snacks. Well, she did in kindergarten. I'm not, I'm not sure in, in first grade if she's going to have two or maybe just one snack, but I know that she does at some point of the day have a snack. But I still like to send her with one because she is a very picky eater, and I know that sometimes she doesn't eat her lunch because she doesn't like it. So um, she has this lunchbox that she has something that I know that she'll eat in here. So this was included in the backpack, um, and 
inside is a water bottle that was also included with a strap so it doesn't fall out. And then I'll possibly write her name here on the side so she doesn't lose it. I want to put this in the front clear pocket of the backpack, but I know that once she takes that out, she most likely won't put it back. She'll probably just hang it off of the side of the backpack. Um, so if it gets lost, we can find it in school. Really cute. And then sometimes in her school, um, she'll have like fundraisers or they'll sell hot dogs um, throughout the summer or like when it gets hot, um, they'll sell nachos or chocolates to like fundraise some things for the school. So sometimes the teacher will ask me for like a dollar or two and I just got this wallet um, at Justice. I don't know if you can see that. And it has like some confetti on the inside that actually moves. I thought that was cute. So I just hung it on the back of her lunchbox so when she has it, right there. Also at Justice, I found this cute back um, bag, um, and it is plastic. It's actually a bikini bag um, for like summer, but I thought it was like cute. It's like huge. It's like bigger than my head. Um, and as you can see, it has multiple pencil pouches and bags. And they all fit nicely so she doesn't have to like fiddle around in her backpack um, in the morning she can just pull this whole thing out or if she can pull out individual items um, and I got this for her school supplies and it also has her initial and then her keychain I got at Orlando and inside. This first pencil pouch was actually included in the backpack as well. So she got the backpack, this pencil pouch, the lunchbox, and the water bottle all together, which is really nice. This is cute. And then in here I included an Elmer's school glue. Because she's going to first grade, obviously she'll be doing like arts and crafts and stuff like that. Then I also included a Fiskars um, scissors and this is the cap. I like that it comes with a cap um, but then she still has the blunt tip. Like it's not pointed so they don't like stab each other or fall or they're not supposed to run with scissors. Um, she asked for purple this year, which was actually cool because her favorite color is pink, so I thought it was cute that she actually asked for purple. And then, um, apart from the liquid glue, I got her a glue stick. So this actually goes on purple, so she actually sees what she's gluing, but it'll dry clear, uh, which I like. And then I always buy... Like in bulk, I bought the 12 pack, um, but I'll only send her with like one in her bag. And then once this runs out, we'll have it at home and we can replenish the bag. Every day after she comes home from school, I check her backpack, we go over homework and whatever she needs, we replenish at home. So that is all in here. Next, we have a pencil box. This is my favorite. I think she's so cute. One in the back. And it's just one of those that has a snap and you pull out the tray. And then in here she has her pencils and then her eraser. So I bought the Ticonderoga pencils year. I bought the 24 pack Ticonderoga number two pencils and these were my favorite pencils. Um, they are hard so they don't snap very easily. The lead is super strong and very dark um, 
it doesn't smudge it's like smooth and it doesn't break it's not cheap and then the eraser is actually really nice um, and then these were used like for testing so I know um, her teacher actually asked in her list for her to have from three to five pencils a day pre-sharpened I haven't sharpened these but once we start the school year I'll sharpen these for her um, and have them ready in her box and then apart from the normal standard ugly pencil I got her some lol pencils focus there we go so it just has some like emojis hamburgers a little devil face <laughs> and then we have a couple of dolls here on the side and then they have like pink erasers black lead so those are just fun pencils that she can have um, also, and then she can share with her best friend. Um, that came in a 10 pack for like a dollar at the store. So we'll keep these at home, and then like I said, we'll replenish the school supplies. Now this is the eraser that we got. Um, school actually asks for these by name now, the Lion brand. Um, I didn't know of these erasers in the States, but I know that this is like the brand for Puerto Rico. I'm not sure if it's like a Puerto Rico based, well it's a Japan based um, product. Um, and this is a plastic eraser. And I know that it comes out a little bit pink, uh, not pink, uh, white, uh, but it is a clear eraser. And it doesn't leave any residue, it doesn't smudge, it erases completely, and it actually is a really good eraser. Um, so this is the eraser brand that teachers ask for, it's really nice. And so I got her two of these, uh, one for her pencil box and then one for home. And that's all that's in here. I didn't include the pencil sharpener in here because they'll already be sharpened um, and if it gets dull she can just grab a new pencil and we'll sharpen those when we when we get home. But she does have a pencil sharpener in her school supplies. Then we have this pencil case. I thought this was the cutest. It's a sturdy one. It doesn't collapse. It's pretty strong. but. But it's soft. It's not like a hard case. It's soft. I love this one. This is so cute. Doesn't this remind you of like Scary Spice from the Spice Girls with like the top knots? <laughs> I just totally aged myself there. When you open, I'll probably like write her name here so it doesn't come up missing. Um, she has a pack of crayons, 24 pack of oh, Crayola crayons. Crayola is my favorite brand. I feel like they're the most pigmented and good quality crayons and color products. She also has her pencil sharpener. They request the one with the fill cup. Um, so this actually picks up the pencil shaving so they don't have to hover over the garbage container. Um, they can just sharpen and then keep this in their bag and then they can discard it later or on their desk. And then I also got her a 36 pack of Crayola colored pencils. She's going to be using colored pencils this year. Um, they already came pre-sharpened which is great because arthritis after sharpening 36 pencils, um, but I'll keep them sharpened throughout the school year. Um, and I like Crayola, like I mentioned, because of the pigment and the quality. Um, they come up really nice on paper and they don't snap or break easily. So, and then I threw away the box um, and I just placed them in here. And they fit perfectly. And you still have like Face. And then her box of crayons, obviously throughout the school year, she's going to end up throwing away the box and everything will be spilled in here. 
and then her sharpener. She could actually put this in her other pencil box if she wants, or she can just keep it in here, her preference. She'll know what she wants to do throughout the school year. And then everything fits perfectly in here. You don't have to fiddle around with anything. You don't have to smash anything. Everything fits comfortably in this bag. She also needed seven notebooks and it was really hard for me to find notebooks because she needed a specific color graphy notebook um, with third space spacing or third third line spacing um, so that's this here Um, and then if you don't know what that is, that looks like. So I know first is like three lines together and then it has like the um, dotted line in the middle. And then second is two lines with the dotted line in the middle. And then third is just one normal line with the line in the middle. So they'll learn how to write in the normal composition books once they're done with this one. So they'll practice writing in a normal composition line. And then once she graduates, she'll just graduate to a normal composition book. And then I went with this brand uh, Sons, which is the student organiz organizational notebook system. This is like a, um, a notebook system for private schools. My daughter's in public school, but I could not find that spacing. So that's why I went with this brand because they had the spacing and they all come in a variety of colors depending on what class um, according to the public, uh, the private school system. So this purple could be art class um, but then my daughter doesn't have to worry about that because she's in public school but um, since she has seven classes I did want her to have some type of system to know blue for math green for science purple for art um, etc so she can choose what color she wants for her class etc and um, I could not find LOL style notebook notebooks. So we I bought stickers and I decorated each one personally. Some I decorated more than others. Um, but they all have the same amount of girls, but they're just all styled differently. So this is her pink, pinkish purple um, magenta colored notebook. She has green. yellow this is like a loud yellow I love this color blue a maroon which is like a dark wine color this is cute red and white so these are the colors I think there are more colors with the pro with the system, but these were the ones that I bought for my daughter for her school. So these are her notebooks that she'll use throughout the school year. And then they also required a pack of construction paper, which I also got the Crayola. And I got the 240 pages, and they come in pink, red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green, light blue, royal blue, purple, white, brown, and black. So they essentially come in all those colors, and there's 240 sheets. So that's nice. And I think this was like only $6, so five dollars it wasn't really that much it was at Walmart and then I also needed to get one pack of copy paper and this is just normal sized printer paper 
and this we give on the first day of school um, for the office because sometimes they send letters home and stuff like that so each child just sends a pack of paper and then they have enough for throughout the school year and then they did ask for legal size paper but I haven't been able to find any in like Walmart so I have to go to like an office depot or an office supply store to get the legal size paper and that's pretty much it for her actual school supplies I do have essentially her uniforms her uh, uniform shoes her gym um, we have a couple of accessories and things like that, uh, fun stuff for her. So that's going to be a part two of this um, haul. But essentially these were her um, items that she needs to go in her backpack or for her first day of school of what she'll be using. But if we want to see the part two version of this school supplies haul, stay tuned and click below. Bye guys.